hectares. So now, uh, Moses from Evergreen Horticulture in Kenya is about to demonstrate how we're going to apply the lime to the soil and how we're going to mix and apply it. So that's what he's now doing, showing us this is a, a calcitic lime, although we're going to apply dolomitic and calcitic lime to the land to correct the pH. But we're currently using the calcitic lime just a sample to demonstrate how it's going to be applied on the land. So that's what uh, Moses is doing. And that's our agronomist, Abdon, who is the one that is going to be in charge of supervising the application of the lime this on is the land. eyeball operation. When you are applying, you just check how much the spread is. Yeah. If you look at this, you find it's almost homogeneous on the surface. Okay? Yeah. Yep. It's almost homogeneous. Okay. That small area there and that area might be having slightly more. But that's not really a problem. Then after this now, yeah. you come with your hoe. And that is Seraphine from Holland Green Tech. Who is going to install the irrigation on the land? Say hello, Seraphine. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so, Moses is now showing us how to mix uh, using the fork to mix the lime up with it. You see, some of it is going by here. That yeah. should not worry somebody. Yeah. Unless the wind speed is very high, you should not be worried. Yeah. And if the wind speed is very high, then the best thing is just to pause a little bit and continue. After that, you notice this soil eh, is already moist, yeah. So that is a big advantage that the reaction is going to take place almost immediately. But ideally, after this application, some good rainfall should follow so that it can now ensure that soil particles and the material that we are applying calcium carbonate the carbonate is released and calcium goes into the soil, corrects the issues of the pH. Carbonate is so going to enhance the liming aspect itself. Because here we are dealing with very low levels of uh, calcium, very low levels of phosphorus. The phosphorus levels might be an issue because of having the pH of what is expected between 6 and 7. So how do you know that this is one square meter? I am used to this activity. Yeah. <laughs> experience. <laughs> it's experience, yeah. Yeah. which you cannot buy from Simba Supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can use this, this is... This is slightly more than a meter. Just slightly more than a meter. A meter would come up to here. So you can still use this to measure it. You see what I was saying? My meter is there. The same way, this way. My meter is there. So one by one meter. One by one meter. This cup, okay? So once you guys get used to this, it's going to be very easy. Now I want you now to pick from this and just try to spread. You will find the first dose of spreading is going to be very wrong. 